What is happening, turn-based gamers? My name is Ludeman. Welcome back to Empire Total War, the French and Indian War campaign. In this episode, we are going to finish it, and I am so determined to do so. So basically, what's going on is that we got a French army held up at the fort near Fort Niagara, and we got a small army right down here in Williamsport, no, Williamsburg, sorry. What we're going to do is we're going to train a small army of just infantry and artillery to take them out. The reason why we're not going to recruit any cavalry is because I'm not good with cavalry, and not to mention the AI cavalry are just absolutely ridiculous. Oftentimes, they just charge straight in into the front line. So if we can and get an army of, I would say, maybe half of this number, I think we should have pretty good odds. The other thing is this army up here. Now, this is a fully grown army right here. Well, not fully grown army because it has one more spot left, but it's fully units. It's All of its units are filled. My army, however, is most definitely not. Uh, some of the units are filled, some of them aren't. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to have them placed right here. This way we can you know, keep them away until we can get fully retrained. Because in order for them to cross over, they'd have to have full control on both sides. So since now I have control on this side, there's no way that they can and actually move troops across. So this is going to keep my army safe for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a backup army training over here. So that way we can and resupply them whenever we need. Alright, so that's still going. The army's not moving here. These are still waiting. Are they retreating themselves? That's not the greatest idea. Oh, greatest sign, but it's okay. We'll keep retraining here. Infantry, even pretty much exclusively. We'll do another one like this. I don't know how many of these we're going to do. Do we recruit more of a navy? So we can take out their big navy over here? I mean, they have almost a full one. Well, not a full one. They have 16. Most of them are brigs, though. Actually, they're all brigs. Except for one. It's a sloop. I mean, we have a fifth rate and a brig here. I guess we could try to recruit maybe a couple fifth rates, maybe? Because the fifth rates are a lot bigger and stronger than the normal brigs. So maybe even though... They might get outnumbered. Maybe the class of the ship can make up for the odds. Can we build anything else? I don't think we're... I think we're done building for the rest of this campaign. Oh, there's another navy. Alright, so... Okay, so we're just about oh, fully replenished. We still got the, these two units are down here. That's okay. We got uh, two more units that's right here. Actually... Is it safe to move them out? It is. Nice to see the French aren't doing anything. Yep, they're still there. Alright, so we'll send them back. Have this army. Well, let's go ahead and get another one. Do we also start retraining in an army up here? Here to reinforce? Thing is, would they catch on to that and then move to take Fort Niagara? Let's uh, let's just leave it as it is for now. So yeah, here they're definitely trying to rebuild. Most of the armies on both sides. Let me see if I can get a closer look. There we go. Most of the armies are cavalry. Cavalry ain't gonna do anything when attacking a fort. The only way they can is by having a hole in the wall already. So. If we can limit their cavalry involvement, then we might actually have a chance to fend them off in both assaults. So with that being said, should we go and take the fort to try and hold the counterattacks? Because, like, this army is literally half cavalry. Like, I don't exp This army is not going to uh, penetrate this fort at all. No way. No shot. This one... This one has better odds... But again, it's like about half cavalry. So, you, you gotta take into that account. Who, the cavalry aren't that effective when attacking a fortress. So, are we actually safe to take this fort expecting a counterattack? Because we have very little cavalry in this army. In fact, almost none. We only have two units. So, I think we're actually safe 
to go and at and take this fort. And expecting a counterattack, depending on which one attacks first, we might be able to hold it off in both of them. And then we could actually move forward in Quebec and Montreal and end the campaign. That's interesting. Let's, let's we're gonna take the risk. Okay, that one's just come out of nowhere. Okay, something interesting is going on now. We got the whole army re uh, rebuilt. That's nice. Now we're going to go around this way. Meanwhile, we're going to have this army down here. Yep, still retraining. All right. I don't think we're going to do anything else here for a little bit. Oh snap, they're going after Fort Niagara. But then again, do we still need Fort Niagara? Because our objective is to take Quebec and Montreal. So, could we technically lose? lose could we technically lose Fort Niagara, but still be able to win? That's an interesting question. I said that last time also, but it's still... It's still worth consideration and like because our objective is now to solely take these two so why would be the point of having this if that's not of our objective anymore we don't have an objective saying hold for Niagara so do we really need to have it anymore their Navy has become way too much there's no way we could fend something off like this with this puny little thing they're going back why did you go back? You had Fort Niagara completely defenseless. You could have taken it easily. I'm not going to question your logic. Um, thank you for sparing Fort Niagara. Meanwhile, over here, we're all... Oh, nice. This unit's almost ready to meet up. Nice. That's awesome. I know there's only going to be one... And, uh, I know there's only one space left, but it's okay. We can just take one of them. And then have the rest there to reinforce. And they're going back towards it. Great. I take back my thoughts on you. Maybe we should do this. Okay, let's try this. We'll attack Quebec first. Hold it off for now. Have the small army hold up in the fort. So that way, if they attack, they can intercept. And maybe try to hold them off for a little bit. Obviously, we would have no chance of winning, but we can commit a little bit of damage, and maybe if this reinfor this army reinforces, is we might be able to hold the fort. And and uh, if uh, I cannot speak today, if this army attacks now, this will intercept. Hopefully, with this army reinforcing and this army not, because it's you know held up in the city. If that's the case, then we might have a chance of keeping the fort. So that's what we're going to be doing in our game plan. Let's let's see. Are they attacking? Well, they are withdrawing again. They're not attacking. Well, this was unexpected. Okay. I honestly was not expecting that. All right. So this army is definitely ready to take the fort back. That's what I was expecting. Let's get into the fight. Oh, snap. This is the layout? Oh, if I would have known that. Uh, the, okay, we, we just got a perfect setup. We are in a perfect position right now. This is literally perfect. Like, all we can have to do then is hold our ground right at, down at the bottom, right down here. And, and since they, they've sallied out, all we have to do is just wait for them to come to us. This is perfect. This is the most perfect setup we could have. Oh, that's a nice looking ship. Look at that. That's a nice detail right there. This is a really small deployment zone. We'll have the artillery out like this, facing the mountain, because that's where they're going to have to come down. We'll have... Well, I think, we'll, I think we can have these guys completely out of it. Just like have them sitting in the back or something. We'll reinforce where, where they need to be. These three over here, we can like put like this. 
general and the cavalry, we don't need at all, I don't think. We can just put them all the way back there. Look nice, come on guys. The rest of you, you guys can just sit right there, I guess. And then what we can do, yeah, you know, let's just set these not to fire at will, because I don't want accidental friendly fire and to get uh, sort of situated. So let's go ahead and send them out like this. And then on the other side, we'll have these three. Oh, these three, he don't have that space. Okay, you know what? Have these two go back for now. Only enough room for one. All right, that's okay. That means less losses on our part. And then these two can just sit back here like this. Or should we have them actually head up and skirmish? No, I think some of them are trying to go back in. Or maybe not. Yeah, they're not. They're just lining up very oddly. Which doesn't make any sense because we're, they're just going to have to come down toward us. You know what? Let's have the cavalry head up and skirmish with them. Why not? Yeah, have them here high behind this hill. That way we can get like a little bit of a surprise. Oh wait, did they actually kill some of them? They killed some of themselves. Really? They are killing off their own. We'll go up, so we're going up this way. These guys are walking. Should we try to... Should we try to move them up, further up? I don't think we should. Well, maybe we can send, like, the back army further up. Because then we can... Oh my gosh. In case you're wondering why I'm having issues with this side, it's because I have, it, have my other monitor on this side, so if I move it off, you can see it completely goes off the screen. So, I sometimes I have issues with it. Go ahead and move the cavalry heat down here. Maybe we can try to tempt the French to move down into the valley. Maybe put one unit in of rangers behind them to try and cover them. I know that might get us some friendly fire, but sometimes friendly fire is needed. Okay, it looks like there's moving, there's movement, there's movement. Okay. Go ahead. Get the militia units. All right, wait, now that one's going on the roof. Uh, the roof, the hail side. All right, let's get these two back here. Get this one. Wait, is this one? Oh, this one's not doing anything. Right, let's get these two lined up like this. Oh, wait, that's a ranger unit? No. No, let's, let's put them back there. Oh, um, the other ones end up there. Is they're gonna it looks like they're gonna end up running into the other side. Alright, you know what? Abandon this part of the plan. Just abandon this part. Alright, you know what? You go there. You boys. Line up like this. Maybe further up. Like that or something. Is this building taking damage? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's damage. Alright, okay, get them out of there. Get them out. Get them out. Alright, and as for these people, let's go ahead and... Oh, they got hit by a cannon shell. Let's just have them um, out this way. The French cavalry doesn't seem to be taking our bait. Let's move a bit closer. Maybe we can tempt them a bit more. Oh, wait, they're still moving. Okay. Oh, here we go. Stop right there. Line back up, boys. Come on. Hurry up now. Thank you. Alright. And they're moving into range. Everyone's firing. I mean, you probably did nothing there. Actually, you did a little bit. Up. Oh. That's what I expected. 
Alright, so you guys head down this way. Oh, snap! They, they did take the bait! Go after them! Go after them, boys! Come on now! Actually, go, go up a bit. Up a bit. Up a bit. Up a bit! I said up a bit! Alright, now go ahead. Cut them off. Cut off their line of escape. As for these guys, oh my gosh. Yep, this unit's doomed. Uh, yeah, guys, you, uh, can you get out of there? Just get out of there now. Like, right now. That unit can, is gonna get shredded if it stays in there. It's still getting shredded, actually. Wait, what the? Oh, snap. Stupid rangers. Okay, they're gonna make it back. Most of them are Oh, half of them anyway. Make that less than half. Some of them are gonna make it back. And, wait, was that the general? Why would the, would the general charge my line? Of course, the one guy that, oh, the one guy that does escape is the general himself. Yep, they're, they're not gonna get him. Not gonna get him. Now the rangers are in combat with these guys. That's where we send them up to our flank. These guys are holding up fairly nicely. It looks like they're just charging down the hill in a mass. And they are. Oh my word, they are they're, they're just trying to melee everything. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that, I didn't mean to do that, no. Gosh dang it. Alright, you know what? Charge him. Just charge him. I, I told you to run. At least I think I did. Alright, you guys run. No, run. Alright. So now, it looks like these guys are, these guys are not, not doing well at all. You guys. Well, I guess you guys here. March in and, and help them hold them. You guys go on the offensive. Oh, they're wavering. Yes. All right. They got that act done. Well done, boys. What? You serious? So now, all right, they're withdrawing. Calvary's going to uh, be destroyed soon. Come on now. There we go. All right, so. so this, this skirmish over here is one. Now here. Have them out like this. Looks like this one's actually holding out pretty well. Fight the friendly fire. Oh, gosh dang it, man. Ah, there we go. Yeah, breaking. All right. I think we got uh, this pretty well locked. Well, let's just go ahead and do this. It don't don't do that. Don't I said hold your fire. Let these guys take care of it. Now we're going to do this. That way we can get a little bit of that. The wavering going on. And right, now run back off. Come on now, run off. Good job. There we go. That's exactly what the cavalry was for. Alright, so now we can go ahead and bring out this one. Like this. Oh, I see that down there. Somebody's wavering. And it's them. That's nice. Alright, so now everybody just focus on this one. These guys, please go ahead and just head up this way. And then over here. Oh, nice. They all, they're almost all routed. 
Yes, it worked. All right, so now you guys can actually go up and attack them from the back. Are you not able to fire on him? You are, so why aren't you? I mean, that's not that... That wasn't that great, but... Alright, so now oh, they are under attack from the back. Now we can have them go in and attack like this. And this unit has become surrounded. There we go. Perfection. All right. There's no way they can. There's no way they can fend this off. Right, just break already. Break. Break. Don't you dare break my forces! Are you serious? You broke my forces. You broke- You're breaking my army! All that's left is the artillery, which... Let's just go ahead and just- Actually, you know what? No. Which one? This one's bigger. So let's just go ahead and have them. Just finish them off. Alright, that unit's gone. Why are you going that way for? Go well, after him. There you go. And done. Yep, victory. Well, that wasn't really the battle plan. But, regardless, we got the win. And they did withdraw. Alright. Well then. So we got that one. So now all we need is this one. Which obviously work that's gonna this is gonna take forever her to replenish. Oh snap. I forgot about that. It's okay. We got this. And they're bringing the French Navy down. I don't know what the Navy's doing. The okay, they brought a big army from down there. Swine rot in the sky. Okay, maybe we actually don't who need to take that. Maybe we don't need to take it. Hold on. Maybe we won't need to. Because if we can get this whole army replenished, we can just go right after Montreal. Especially if they keep taking units away. Yes! Okay, they fully replenished. Alright, so now we have a chance. We can actually go after Montreal fully. And we have a little bit of reinforcement army. Okay. Oh, do I dare auto resolve this? Do I dare auto resolve? I hate auto resolve. Do I dare? Oh boy, I don't know. Do I? Should I auto resolve? We are yes! Yes! We did it! We did it! We have won the French and Indian War. Oh boy! Thank. God. Okay. Woo! Man, that feels great. That's going to be all for this video. The French and Indian War is over. When we come back, we're going to move into the American Revolution, and we're going to try and free the Americas from British rule. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. If you like what I do and you want to support me in the future, then please feel free to hit subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. But until next time, see you later! So let's put one there. And then we'll put the fields right next to it. Oh, snap. Oh, crap. Am I just screwing myself over already? Oh, you put in the seed. That makes sense. Seaweed farm. Seaweed is in the sea. I'm stupid. Put one, uh, another one out like.